Today I'm going to show you all of the stuff that I did in my grocery haul from Sprouts. So let's dive right into all the things I bought for my Brightline Eating food plan. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Angela. I upload every Saturday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time to help you in your weight loss journey, especially if you do Brightline Eating or have binge eating disorder. This video is actually requested by a couple of Brightline Eating friends of mine who were like, why don't you just show us what you get at grocery stores when you go shopping? So I'm here to show you what I buy. Some of these things are actually things I've already purchased, but I was like, you know what? It's important to show because on a regular grocery run, these are the things that I would do. All right, so these are the things I would purchase rather. So let's start over here. We're just literally gonna just do it like, you know, left to right. So, oh, I should also say, I got all of these items at Sprouts today because Sprouts Farmer's Market Oop, sorry about that. Uh, I'm about to bake some stuff, so we'll talk about that. Anyway, all of these groceries are from Sprouts Farmer's Market, but honestly, you could shop at any grocery store that is convenient for you, whether it's Walmart, Publix, I don't care. Target, you do you boo. I support you. I love shopping at Sprouts because they have unique specialty items. Let's, In fact, let's start with the first one, delicata squash. Like These are hard to find. These are amazing squashes that you can literally just eat the rind. Like When you bake it, which is why I have my oven set to 350, when you bake these, they are so delicious. And uh, I'm just so obsessed with delicata squash and it's hard to find. So finding these at Sprouts is like super exciting. I also picked up some smoked oysters. This is kind of rare for me. I never do this, but I figured, you know what? I kind of want to mix things up. I love oysters. I love seafood. So I could throw these on a salad. So I got those. Um, I also got some organic strawberries just because my son who's four loves strawberries. I also got a red onion because whenever I put red onion into a salad, it just makes it more craveable. There are some items that you'll see here today that I am trying to build into a beautiful salad, and that's one of them. I got some fresh bell pepper bites. These are organic. I try to purchase organic when I can. For me, it is worth the investment. I support you if you're like, that's not in my budget to get organic. I totally understand that. Just eat vegetables and you're already ahead of the average American. I feel it, right? Anyway, so these are great little bites that, you know, are easy to throw into the oven if you wanted to bake them. I'm gonna use them raw in salads. So also celery, just organic, fresh celery. This is another specialty item that it's hard to find. I can only find them at Sprouts. I love microgreens and these are um, just great to throw a handful into a salad. It just makes it pretty to me. I don't know what it is, but microgreens just make me feel like I'm taking it to the next level. This also, talking about taking it to the next level, this is the first time in my life that I have ever bought watermelon radish, but if you've ever seen them in a salad, it just makes your salad look bougie and extra and elevated. So I wanted to get some. This is what it looks like, but when you chop it, it's got that pretty pink inside. So got that, nice little specialty item. I went ahead and got these organic ch carrot chips and I'm gonna bake them because I had actually uh, wanted to get some regular carrots and then like chop them up, peel them, yada yada. And I said, why would I do that? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna get them pre-chopped so I can just throw them in the oven, bake them. Also, um, butternut squash. I wanted to get that also pre-chopped. Butternut squash is really hard to chop, so I got this fresh, and then I'm just gonna bake all of that. So I've got a lot of baking to do. I've got some blue cheese crumbles because I personally love blue cheese. Some people prefer feta. Some people prefer goat cheese. I understand that. I just wanted some blue cheese for me. I just love the flavor on a salad. Also on a salad, I will throw in some uh, cabbage, and I like it pre-cut, pre-chopped. You can save a lot of money if you don't buy things pre-chopped. I, myself, am a working mom. I have a, look at my family up there. Look at my little family right there. My husband's face all covered up. Not that I don't love you, honey. It's just the magnet. It's my son. We're at church right there in that photo, but like I am a busy working mother. So for me, I will pay for convenience because I just, I don't have the time or the bandwidth. Here's some pre-made chicken salad. These can be a little tricky to count. So for me, I would just weigh out four and a half ounces because the four ounces I would count as the chicken and then the half extra ounce would be like the fat because remember, this already has mayo in it. These are just the mini cucumbers. These little Persian cucumbers are so delicious to me. This is old, but I had picked up some mint because lately I've been loving to chop up mint with lime in my... Um, 
water bottle. You can see my Owala water bottle way over there. I love to do that. And this is the cup I was drinking. I don't have any mint in there, but um, I squeeze some lime in it. It helps me drink more whenever I have like a flavor in my water. Here's some greens. I just love butter lettuce. It's so good to me. It's very sweet. I don't know why I have this out. Oh, I know why, because I'm putting these Brussels sprouts in my um salad for lunch. So this was not part of the grocery haul. I just pulled it out of the fridge because I'm going to put this in my salad for lunch today. Also not part of the grocery haul, but just some leftover. Um, where is it? What am I trying to show you? Raspberries to throw in today's salad. Same with the blueberries already. I'm just like, I don't know why I put these out here just because I'm making my salad after I filmed this video. So there you go. I did get these in the grocery haul, just some mild cheddar shredded because tonight I plan to make some like shredded zucchini. Like I'm going to shred up the zucchini um, recently in one of my Brightland eating videos. If you scroll back a few videos, I did like a zucchini grilled cheese recipe from a Natalie All cookbook. And um, I wanted to kind of remake that tonight. So I got some cheddar. Also, um, Cage-free eggs. These these are the Sprouts brand. I feel like they were like three dollars, three ninety nine, three oh nine, three twenty nine, something like that. But anyway, less than four bucks. Cage-free. That's my preference. I got some baby bok choy. It's organic. Just a couple of those. This is old. Um, this is also not part of today's grocery haul, but I did get this from Sprouts a while back. This is the Wild Brine Red Beet and Cabbage Organic Kraut. I love to just put that on a salad for a little bit of the probiotics, you know, that's good for your gut health. Um, I did get some grass-fed organic ground beef. I did get the lean kind, and I thought that was good. This one... Um, I got it not just for me, but also for my son, just because I try to keep him, you know, minimal dairy. I don't do completely dairy free for him, but I do try to minimize his dairy consumption. I do let him have milk and, you know, cheese and butter, um, that kind of thing, but I just, I minimize it. Uh, yeah, flax milk and protein, eight grams of protein for that. This is the unsweetened vanilla flavor, so he'll enjoy it. Also for my son, hard boiled eggs. If I'm ever in a pinch, I will use this as a protein chopped up in a salad at lunch, but I typically am not in a pinch. Typically I'm really good about having like my proteins prepared. But again, I have in the past, like when I'm in a super hurry, I've used this as a protein. So that's it. That is um, today's grocery haul. And so as you can see, I have some leg work to do. I'm gonna do my baking. I'm gonna get my butternut squash. I'm gonna get my uh, carrots baked. Um, I'm not going to do the deliquata squash yet. I'm just going to let that sit for a couple of days. One other thing that's good about those squashes is that they're good to be shelf stable for a while before you decide to bake them. I mean, you can't wait like three weeks, but you can wait like three days, five days, maybe. Um, I've done that and they were fine when I baked them. So that was nice. Anyway, I'm going to get to work putting all this stuff up in my fridge and I will make my salad. And I love y'all so much for watching this video. If you want to see more grocery hauls, let me know. I can do more Bright Lane eating grocery hauls. I know that that's something I had done in the past. I have like one or two grocery hauls videos that I've done, but I haven't done any updated ones since then. So sending y'all love. Hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching. Be sure you're subscribed for the next video. Bye.